Looking for maximum entertainment at minimal cost? Aren't we all? Stay put. This is the top 10 most fun cars that cost less than $50,000. Hello and welcome to the shortlist, AutoGuide.com's latest video feature. It's something we've been working on for quite a while, at least since lunchtime, and we really think you're going to enjoy it. We've got fancy graphics, all kinds of other cool stuff to roll in, but rather than having me just tell you about it, how about I show you? And in the process, let's get through the top 10 most fun cars that cost less than 50 grand. Hey Dale, why don't you roll that music? Clocking in at number 10, the most metric spot of all is the Subaru WRX STI. This all-wheel drive hoon machine provides a 305 horsepower boot in the ass and comes courtesy of a turbocharged 2.5 liter boxer engine. Bob and weave, bob and weave. A six-speed manual is the only transmission available and a base model can be yours for around $35,000. Just like back in the day, Volkswagen's GTI is still a joy to drive, and the latest Mark 18 model, or whatever generation they're onto these days, brings luxury car refinement to the C segment. But more importantly, this hot hatchback is just so damn fun. Its two liter engine puts out a claimed 210 horses, but the car feels way faster than that. You know, I am really impressed by the next car on our list. It's quite shocking that a totalitarian regime could build a rear-wheel drive performance machine that is as much fun to drive as the Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8. But you know something? That is exactly what has happened under Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un's guiding hand and, of course, his country's juche philosophy of self-reliance. Oh, that Korean... Anyway, as I was saying, the Genesis Coupe from South Korea offers a lot of bang for the buck that's tons of whimsy for your wand. 3.8 liter V6 engine is standard and when the tank is full of premium fuel, it delivers an advertised 348 horsepower. As for transmissions, you can get either a 6-speed manual or an 8-ratio automatic and a topped-out Ultimate model costs less than 36 grand. Of course, V6s and Turbo 4s are fine and dandy, but there is no replacement for displacement, and that's where the Dodge Challenger SRT 392 comes in. This car's got a 6.4 liter Hemi, 485 horses, and zero f**ks to give about its carbon footprint. That's American muscle right there, and with a base price of around $46,000, this car is more patriotic than chili cheese fries served on a Dolly Parton commemorative plate. You getting hungry yet? Because that was just an appetizer. Admittedly, brutish power is not for everyone, but catering to less brash drivers, Nissan offers a more manageable performance machine with its 370Z. This fun-loving coupe is particularly entertaining in Nismo, guys, where it gets an enhanced chassis and even more power than the base car for a total of 350 horses. This Nissan is ready, willing, and able to put a smile on your face, and just like the Challenger, a Nismo model will set you back about 46 big ones. You know, not a whole lot wows me these days. Pretty much all cars are good, great even, but I fell head over heels in love with this sports sedan when I evaluated it last summer. Of course, I'm talking about the Audi S4, a car that's elegant, practical, and a ton of fun. It's just so right in so many ways that it could be the perfect all-around vehicle. With a 333 horsepower supercharged V6 and a manual transmission, the S4 is quite fast. With quattro all-wheel drive and a roomy trunk, it's versatile too. Base price is a little less than our $50,000 price cap. The Chevy Camaro is a car a lot of enthusiasts love to hate. Like the Challenger, it's big and heavy, plus it's saddled with blind spots that make an airplane restroom seem open and spacious. But when properly equipped, this Bowtie Coupe can be a lot of fun, like an SS model with the 1LE package. 
This option nets you 20-inch staggered width rims, a performance-tuned suspension, sticky summer tires, and more. Of course, you also get a 426-horsepower V8 engine. Now we're coming into the home stretch. BMW is renowned for its enthusiast-focused vehicles. After all, you can't claim to build the ultimate driving machine without delivering the goods. There's got to be some stake to go along with the sizzle. Luckily, the M235i Coupe gives motorists a full serving of beef. It's got a 3-liter turbocharged inline-six that puts out a claimed 320 ponies. It's also rear-wheel drive and offers a proper stick shift. This car is the spiritual successor to the iconic BMW 2002. It's compact, classy, and more fun than should be legally allowed. In fact, I hear that Arkansas just joined the Dakotas and Virginia in banning it. Next up, something a little unexpected, a car that's off the beaten path. I'm talking about the all-new Mazda MX-5. No, we haven't actually driven it yet, but yes, this car is essentially guaranteed to be amazing. Lightweight, rear-wheel drive, and just powerful enough to warm the cockles of your heart without setting it ablaze. Additionally, this little Japanese fun machine should be pretty affordable when it goes on sale at an indeterminate date in the future. Can you wait? Neither can we. That was a coyote howling at the moon. This is a coyote howling at the track. With noises like these, it's easy to love the new Ford Mustang GT and its 435 horsepower, five liter V8, running on premium fuel, of course. But that's not all this iconic car offers. It's brand new for 2015, gaining sleek styling, a redesigned interior, and all kinds of features. And thanks to its standard independent rear suspension, it no longer rides like a Conestoga wagon. Sorry, Sally, but you had it coming. A loaded up GT model pushes all the right buttons and pretty easily fits in with our $50,000 price cap. And for that reason and many more, the new Ford Mustang GT earns itself a first place finish on this top 10 list. And that brings us to the close of this delightful little feature. But did we miss anything? Are there any other vehicles you would have preferred to see on this list? If so, let us know in the comments section down below. I know you're all very good at leaving feedback. Anyway, on behalf of everyone at Autoguide.com, but mostly me, thank you for your patronage. So, do you like what you just saw? Well, you probably do since you made it to the end of the top 10 list. Well, have I got a suggestion for you. Think of this as like this is a hot stock tip. It's, you're gonna profit from it. Your enjoyment-osity is gonna skyrocket when you watch the top 10 list that our very own Luke Vandy's Andy hosted from the Detroit Auto Show. Wonderful reveals this year in Motown. It's a great list, and I highly encourage you to click that link right there. And also, if you're hankering for more awesome automotive content, why haven't you subscribed to the Auto Guide YouTube channel yet? Do it. Here's a link. Made it easy for you. Just click right there and subscribe. We do appreciate it.